Hello. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different than my previous ones where I was just like deep into the Unreal Engine and kind of showcasing some of uh, the code that I've done. I'm actually going to showcase three plugins um, and the demos that you can download directly from their, their uh, pages here. Uh, if we go back and take a look, we're going to be showcasing Waterline Pro, Easy Swim version 3, and Aquatic Surface 1.3. So I'm going to walk through these demos. Again, each of these you can download right from the um, marketplaces web pages and try them yourself without paying anything so you can test them out yourself and see how they work. Um, we're going to start with the waterline demo um, here. This one is came recommended by a couple individuals. It's got some pretty cool stuff going on here. Um, I'd love to see these caustics in a demo um, and uh, we'll play around with them a little bit more but in their demo level I wasn't able to see that kind of stuff but um, if you want to see where I'm downloading the demo from, I just downloaded it from this page and, you know, from the demo link here. All right, let's open up Waterline Pro as our first example. All right, so this this example is pretty cool. Um, it's got five different, like, levels for you to test out, going from, like, low presets all the way to the, the highest quality. Um, here, there's a couple things I'm looking for in this. Uh, one is kind of the water surface animation which is a little bit exaggerated than the low preset one you know i'm not on a jet ski i don't need to have like a four foot wave following me as i run 30 miles an hour through the water which is pretty impossible there'd be a lot more resistance things like that but you know it shows there's doing physics and the water's interacting with things so looks actually pretty cool um and if i just like wander if i just kind of run against the 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 sun with the backdrop it actually looks pretty awesome so um, all right, so this is uh, level one. They've got low presets, some smaller things, single surface water mesh, low tessellation. So if we go to their second level, um, they're showcasing a little bit more. They've got a single surface water mesh. Um, there's low tessellation, and uh, it's got some shallow water animations as well. And, you know, they've got kind of the static mesh boat here you can play around with a little bit. Um, it gets kind of stuck on the stair back here, I think. Or something so it's kind of annoying to try to unhinge it from the, the shore um, Woo! what fun uh, but you can see as you kind of drive the boat around it re interacts with the with the water surface and stuff like that um, so again this is kind of like their second one this point and this level of settings on an RTX 3090 we're running um, 350 frames per second at about two to three milliseconds per frame it's pretty quick um, if we switch to the third level of detail or their third demo, they've got an ocean. So the previous one was shadow, shallow water. This is an ocean. Um, I'm assuming this makes it bigger and just kind of an infinite thing, maybe. Who knows? Um, there's no shallow water simulation. Uh, this is still a single service uh, water mesh, and it's got low tessellation. Um, if we go underwater, you can see what the single surface stuff does, and it's like, you know, you can't really see up through the water like you can in some of the other demos. Um, you can see down through the water, but going back up through the bottom of the water doesn't really work very well. Um, and again, it's got all, they've got kind of the same stuff here. Uh, one of the things I'd like to see in this demo, if they're able to do it, because it kind of really sold me on the Oceanolo Oceanology 5, is if I come over here and stand next to this box and next to the wall and go underwater um, and just bring the objects into the, the, the visibility here, you notice there's no underwater like refraction, there's no caustics, there's no reflections. Um, that really kind of sells the water uh, as the underwater effects and post-processing stuff. Uh, that would be fantastic. I saw screenshots of it in their page, but I didn't really see them in the demo here. Even when you go to the highest settings, I don't really see caustics and, and light refractions and stuff. So if we go up to the fourth level that they have for us, um, this is their high settings. So it's basically the original low settings with some stuff cranked up. You'll notice the rooster tail is a lot more muted. A um, little bit more realistic. Uh, the color of the water itself is a lot more um, nuanced and isn't just, you know, super light. It's, it looks like, you know, you'd be kind of on a setting sun near the ocean and, you know, the waves are dark and it's starting to get a little chilly. Um, looks pretty good. And at this setting, it's actually dropped it from about 300 frames per second down to like 250. So roughly, you know, 50 frame per second drop. And instead of it going to two to three milliseconds per frame, it's you know, three to four milliseconds per frame. So again, this is using a single surface, but you know, you can still kind of see up through the water um, 
it's not quite as detailed as you might expect, but it still looks, it lets you look out through the water, which is pretty nice. Um, and if we go to their final, their final example level, um, this is their ultra preset. And so this is like, you know, future proofing. Again, this is on an RTX 3090, so your PlayStation 4 may not be able to make it look like this. But um, it's rendering at 150 frames per second, five to six milliseconds per frame. Um, You'll notice that the water is a lot, lot more muted. Uh, the rooster tail and stuff is a lot smoother and just doesn't look like a jet ski behind you. Um, the it's using a two-way water material, dual surface water material. So if we go underwater and look out, you know this looks very, very realistic, right? I mean, it looks like you took your phone and dipped it under water and you're just looking straight out from underneath it. So this actually looks pretty good. But again, even under the highest settings, if we go over here to our box and our wall to kind of try to check out caustics and other light refractions against other materials. Um, like you can see in Oceanology 5, just don't, it's just not there. Um, their water material looks great. The physics and the fast forward transforms on the actual waves themselves look amazing. Tessellation looks awesome, but the underwater um, visuals are not quite as detailed as Oceanology 5. Um, so. And I believe someone else who was using this mentioned that when they were doing it. Their, the biggest struggle they had was trying to make the underwater um, look and feel look a lot better. And like I said, their screenshots had demo like what looked like was caustic, what looked like caustics. But if they could include it in their pre-computed demo, that'd be great to show it off. Um, all right, so this concludes the demo of the uh, Waterline Pro. The second one we were going to want to look at was. Um, the uh, aquatic surface uh, demo and surface. Um, and so this one, again, is in the same genre. I, I picked this one as kind of like mixed between Waterline Pro. It's got like interactive water surface plus underwater caustics and really good like post-processing and stuff. So it's kind of like a middle ground between the two, between Oceanology and Waterline Pro. Um, and again, we're going to download the ocean demo directly from here. Uh, one of the things that caught my eye here was that replication. Yes, this is a big thing for me. So this is kind of like where I'm eyeing next is my next potential usage because replication works. It's got caustics. They're not the best, but it still, you know, kind of works. Um, and we'll just kind of demo it here. Uh, you can find the link in the description or just go to the page and find it. Um, you can see there's under there's water sounds here that they've integrated in with their demo. Um, the beach ball goes forward. Um, uh, the water looks pretty good. You can see that as I swim, I've got you know um, some of the water deformation around my character. So it's doing some things similar to Waterline Pro. Um, if we swim underwater here, you know you've got some underwater sound effects. It's got some caustics. The volumetric fog actually looks really good. Um, and uh, looking up through the water to the sun through the sky actually looks pretty good. But when we when we test ultra dynamic sky, well, that'll be the real test of how that that material is handled. A couple things that I thought were a little bit um, less, um, a little bit not quite as good as Oceanology Five. Um, you'll notice when these waves hit this beach ball here, the beach ball just kind of stays there. If you've ever been to the beach or whatever, if a wave comes in and hits the beach ball, it would like nudge it forward a little bit. Um, so I'm not sure the physics interaction here on the buoyancy is working as well as it could. Um, but, you know, we'll have to see when we get it into the, uh, the other editor how it works. Also, the uh, the foam here, it, it it's kind of simplistic. It's just kind of like a straight texture that's kind of angled towards uh, the shore, but it looks like a straight line, right? Um, if you look at some of the stuff in Oceanology, uh, with their foam, it's more organic. It's you know not just a flat texture moving towards the surface. Um, it's actually you know they're doing a bunch of stuff in there that's pretty advanced uh, for their their foam and how it hits the surface. Um, that isn't in here, but you know if you're playing a game and you know chasing a bunch of monsters around and killing them, are you really looking at the foam? Probably not. So uh, again, this is pretty good. Uh, between the two, they've got some other presets. This is the ocean one. They've got some smaller bodies of water, like lakes and things that they've kind of tailored as well. Um, but they don't have a demo for it. But this one looks pretty fantastic. So this is aquatic surface. 
Um, and the last one we're going to do is not actually a, a full water solution. It's really, I think, meant to be a swimming animation um, plugin that they happen to have put an extra water material in here. Um, one of the things they purport to have are easy integrations. In fact, some of their demos or some of their um, uh, documentation videos show them integrating in with various different water systems like aquatic surface and with um, oceanology and other things. So you can use other water surfaces other than you know the one that comes with it. Uh, again, the demo I'm downloading is the one that comes right from their page right here, and this is what I'm showcasing. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive as well. Um, so if we go to the uh, Easy Swim V3, and what I might actually end up doing is intermixing Easy Swim with um, Aquatic Surface for like one of my next attempts. Um, the default one they have you here is working with the Unreal 4.26 water uh, material, and you know, you just go in and they've got all sorts of indicators like, are you in the water? Are you are you out of the water? They've got an indicator of where the surface is with like the, the squares at the top, where your character is. Uh, they've got side animations, swim fast animations, swim slow animations, all sorts of fun stuff. So it actually it actually ends up working out pretty okay. If you're on the surface, you swim a little bit differently than you do underwater. Um, so looks pretty good here. Um, and if you go to their main demo that um, showcases some of the other functionality. Um, like uh, they've got a built-in animation that'll let you do a front flip into the water if it's high enough, right? Got some trailing bubbles, like you're playing Sonic the Hedgehog from way back in the day. Um, they've got some other stuff in here that you can take a look at, but one of the things that I thought was cool is they've got this water negation volume, so it's kind of anti-water in the middle of your water. Um, Oceanology 5 actually had this, they had a demo of like an underwater bubble that you could go in and walk around in. And this is a very similar sort of thing. So this square right here is a volume inside of the, the water itself that acts as if the water isn't there. So you'll notice we drop down, we're able to run around and jump like we normally would. We can jump out of it, we can swim back into it. This is kind of cool. This would be cool for like an underwater like Aquaman demo or something where you, you know, you're fighting fish and you go back in to reload your spear gun or something. Who knows? Um, but yeah, um, I think this is a pretty good demo because it showcases some of the more advanced animations. They do some really good transitions between getting in and out of the water. They've got all sorts of indicators on are you floating? Are you, you know, walking out, walking in, swimming sideways, swimming backwards? So uh, I might mix these two. Um, one thing I did notice in this particular demo is if I hit 1 to join their Discord, because I'm like, oh man, I want to join their Discord, it's uh, invalid, so they may want to update the link in their demo. Um, so, uh, cool. Well, uh, again, this particular video I showcased actual demos you can download that were pre-built from each of the people who made each one of the ones that I was showcasing, Aquatic Surface, uh, Waterline Pro, and Easy Swim. And in the next video, I'm actually going to get these three plugins, plug them into my uh, Voxel Pro um, Surface, and uh, try with Ultra Dynamics Guy and see if we can get like raindrops interacting with the surface and light refraction coming through the surface. Um, and just to show you like how the different water stuff interacts, kind of like I did with um, Oceanology 5. So anyone who's interested in these plugins can bet for themselves and be like, oh yeah, that's cool, it works pretty well out of the box, or I need to do some extra little tasks to make raindrops interact or something like that. So, all right, cool. Again, I appreciate you guys watching and commenting and requesting things to see, um, and I look forward to having you guys check out my next video. Thank you.